Hi everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I have just a quick little video for you to show you a neat feature in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. On your software, you will notice when you first open it up, you have a few tabs on the left hand side. Now, several of the tabs on the left are internet based, which means you do have to have an internet connection in order to bring up the information. This is like the tutorials on the left hand side that all leads you to a web page or it is a web based. So it has to have an internet connection in order for you to bring those up. But there is a lot of useful information that Caesar has provided within the software. So you have your tutorials page, which is added to all the time. You have your inspiration page where they add inspiration to give you ideas for projects. And then you also have the design library. And I'm gonna come down here first and I'm gonna touch on the materials library first. So you also have materials library. Now I wanna point out that these tabs specifically do need an internet connection in order to pull that information up. So if you are not connected to the internet, then it's not going to be able to connect and bring you that information. It is updated on their web cloud, their web server, so they can update it on a regular basis. And then it's pulled into the software from that. Do you need an internet connection to cut? No, you do not need an internet connection at all to cut. The design area of Leonardo Design Studio is completely offline unless you are using something from the design library. So that is the point of my video today. I wanted to share the design library for you. So Caesar has added designs into the design library. Now, it is not an all-inclusive web designer um, full of designs page, but they add to the design library frequently. It's free. It is a bonus to the free Leonardo Design Studio software. So you can go in here and you can look and see for designs. They're great to practice with. I've cut several and I will have photos at the end of this video sharing some of the projects that I've done. But I did cut this little skeleton, very detailed skeleton. And I've cut several of these. So they're always adding new designs to the design library. Now, is it gonna be everything that you possibly could be looking for? No, it's a free bonus. It's something they've just added as an additional resource into the library and they're continuing to add to it over time. So they are adding to it based on holidays. You can come, I'm gonna do a little here introduction. So you have over on the right hand side are your filters. You can click on this little filter and you can choose release date, how you wanna sort it by. So release date, ascending, descending, trending, popularity. Um, you could also change how many results per page. So currently the default is 36. So if I click on that, I can bring up 120 designs that are going to show, and it's going to be based on release date. If I wanted to choose popularity all time, ascending, that's going to change how it shows on my screen. So if I click update, then it's going to populate those different designs based on the selection I've chosen. So now I have 120 and then I can continue on to the next page. This is an additional bonus into the Leonardo Design Studio software. They will continue to work on it. They're continuing to take feedback based on searches and how those are keyworded. Um, it really just depends on what you're looking for. It's not going to be always everything that you want to find. And that's fine because Leonardo Design Studio can open SVGs, no problem. So you can find your SVG cut files at any site that you trust. Um, not all sites are good, keep that in mind. Um, I do have a list of recommended um, design and font sites that I know are good and trusted and I'll put that link in the description below. But you have a resource here so you can get started with a design that you choose. So let me see, I'm just gonna search for this rose and I'll see if it'll bring it up. 
This is another one that I have cut and I'll share at the end. So I cut this little design here and I wanted to see how small I could go. And you're going to see in the photo that I really got a good cut. Now, is it the most efficient? Probably not because my lines on my adhesive vinyl are very, very, very thin, which means that there is not much adhesive holding that design down. So I don't necessarily recommend cutting it as super small as you possibly can get it. Um, it was a test for me to see how detailed I could get Juliet to cut, and she did a great job. Um, the weeding is another story, and that is completely user dependent. I needed a magnifying light in order to weed the design, and you'll see that. I'll just share a photo right here. So here is the, des the rose design and how small I cut it. I did cut it several times after test cutting my settings, um, not because Juliet didn't cut it right, but because I didn't weed it right. So, you know, it just takes practice no matter what you do. So when you uh, click on a file, you're going to click on it one time, it's going to bring up your, the file name. They're very basic names. It's nothing, you know, they're not gonna add a whole lot of detail into that name for every single file. Again, it's free. Um, so they add a little, you know, saying in here for the description. They also state that this design is freely available for all license types. That means that you can create for personal use or if you are deciding to sell the products that you make, you could also use that in commercial use as well. That does not mean you can take this design and sell the design. This design is able to be used in both personal use and commercial use on finished project products or projects. So. When you want to open the design, you're going to click open design and then it's going to open on your design mat. And you can see here, it did open small. I tested Juliet just to see if she could do it, but you could enlarge this however, whatever size you would like to cut that at. And then when you're ready to go back, if you wanted to add another design to your page, you could simply, let's just delete this and go back to our home page, and we could just add this one here. Click on it, click open design. It's going to open on my design mat, and now I have the two files there. So just in case you wanted to open multiple files at the same time, you can do that. So I wanna share a couple things that I've already created from the Leonardo Design Studio Library. It's just a fun way you can scroll through there, see what's available for you, and Get to creating. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.